Today we're going to talk about how much money the airlines have lost because of COVID-19. Welcome to The Money Show. I'm Bailey. I'm your host. Today we're going to talk about how a lot of businesses have been impacted by COVID-19, specifically the airlines though. They have taken a huge impact. They've restricted the traveling, which has cost the airlines a lot of money. They're trying to prevent the spread of disease. So the airlines have taken one of the biggest tools. To understand this, we're gonna take a look at the timeline on how COVID has affected 2020. As a result of the COVID-19 virus, 2020 has been a difficult year across the world. This chart will show the most relevant dates leading up to and that had an impact on the airline industry. On January 9th, the World Health Organization announced a mysterious coronavirus-related pneumonia in Wuhan, China. At this point, the World Health Organization still had doubts about the roots of what would become the COVID-19 pandemic. On January 20th, the CDC, or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, announced that three U.S. airports would begin screening for coronavirus. The next day, on January 21st, the CDC confirmed the first U.S. coronavirus case. This first confirmed U.S. coronavirus case was from a Washington state resident who had returned from Wuhan, China on January 15th. Two days later, on January 23rd, Wuhan, China went under quarantine. In addition to this, 13 more people had now died, and there were an additional 300 who were sick. On this date, China made the decision to close off Wuhan and its population of 11 million people, and to also put restrictions on Huanggang, which is 30 miles east, where residents can't leave without special permission. This meant there were 18 million people under strict lockdown. On January 31st, the World Health Organization issued a global health emergency. At this point, there was now a worldwide death toll of more than 200 people and an exponential jump to more than 9,800 cases. On February 2nd, global air travel became restricted. So when COVID hit, the United States acted very fast. Me personally, it affected me a lot because I like to travel. I have family all over the United States, and when this happened, I couldn't travel, and that literally just crushed me. So one of the biggest issues is people are scared to fly because of this virus. And that's affected the airlines a lot. Like, their numbers have literally cut in half of the amount of people flying. On March 11th, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. On March 13th, Donald Trump declared COVID-19 a national emergency. By doing this, Trump unlocked billions of dollars of federal funding to fight the disease and its spread. Also on this date, the Trump administration issued a travel ban on nine U.S. citizens traveling from Europe. Then, on March 9th, California became the first state to issue a stay-at-home order, mandating all residents to stay at home except to go into essential jobs or shops for essential needs. So, me, for instance, I love to travel, and I flew to another state because a ticket that I usually would pay about $400 for was only $25. And I went and quarantined in Colorado, which is pretty awesome to be honest. But it was like cheap flying is taking such a big hit that they had to lower prices from like 400 to $25, which is insane. When I got on the plane, there was only five people on it, which imagine those seats are normally full. This is one flight that they are losing thousands of dollars on. I mean, for me, it was pretty awesome, but for the airlines, that's destroying them. They are losing so much money. To put in perspective how much money worldwide airlines are losing due to COVID-19, we have this chart that measures the net profit of this industry since 2006. As you can see from this chart, a few catastrophic events in our past have affected the airline industry directly. In 2008 and 9, the crash of the housing market industry caused the airline industry to lose $26.1 $26.1 billion in 2008 and $4.6 billion in 2009. In addition to this, you can see that 9-11 caused the airline industry's net profits to drop from $17.3 billion in 2010 to $8.3 billion in 2011. Since that time, the total net profits of the airline industry have gone up significantly and remained relatively stable until the hit of COVID-19 virus in 2020. Before the COVID-19 virus hit in 2020, this industry was on pace to have record numbers, even beating 2017, where they had a net profit of $37.6 billion. When the COVID-19 virus hit, everything flipped, and now it looks like the commercial airline industry is going to have the worst financial hit it's had in the last 15 years. In addition to this, 
Experts project that these losses will continue into the year 2021 with a $15.8 billion loss. It's scary to see the financial impact the airlines took. The real question is, will they have a rebound and will they make up the money they lost during COVID-19? Although the airline industry was hit the hardest in February, March, and April due to COVID-19, we need to look at the timeline on a larger scale. What other large-scale events affected the airline industry and their pricing in the past, and how did they react and bounce back from those events? Using historical data points from 9-11 and the Great Recession, Dollar Flight Club found that in response to plummeting demand, airlines dramatically cut costs to remain competitive. For example, in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, airfare prices dropped 18%, only to increase 25% in 2003. Also, between 2008 and 2009, during the height of the Great Recession, airfare dropped by 21%. Three years later, in 2012, it picked back up again with a 24% price increase. Using these two examples as a benchmark, Dollar Flight Club predicts a 35% decrease in short-term airfare prices through the year 2021. After this, they also predict a 27% average increase in prices extended into the year 2025. In order to survive through these catastrophic events, the airline industry has needed to learn to adapt to these astronomical financial losses. One way they are able to do this is through airline consolidation, which also will impact prices. Dollar Flight Club expects there to be two large players when it comes to consolidation and control of this market. They anticipate low fare carriers such as Frontier and Sprint to be absorbed into larger carriers such as United, Delta, and American Airlines. If airline consolidation such as this were to take place, this would mean fewer airlines to choose from, which means less routes and less flight time. The result of this, over time, would be higher ticket prices in the future. I personally believe when this pandemic is over that the airlines will have a complete bounce back. I mean, who doesn't want to travel after being cooped up in your house for months? So what do you guys think it'll be like for the airline industry in 2021? Let us know in the comments below. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you for watching The Money Show. Keep, subscribe to Holton Wise TV if you want to keep seeing me. And stay tuned if you want to see more episodes and we can help you get your money right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.